I'm Taylor, I'm from Iowa City, Iowa, and I am excited to be your bachelor. Oh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Ah! This is the journey of a lifetime and I'm here for it. Oh, I just wanna lick him from head to toe. Ah! I'm like so nerdy and weird. I am falling in love with Taylor. To new beginnings! <laughs> Get the lights off. Get the lights. Stop. No. Chris. I don't know if I can do this. Taylor didn't use tongue this time. I just never thought dating 30 girls would be this hard. I'm gonna kill Taylor. The most dramatic season yet. Personal training is a lot like finding love. You gotta work at it day in and day out if you wanna get something healthy and that works. So I'm here to find uh, my Glutamus Maximus. My name's Barry Claire. I'm from South Carolina. I won Miss Teen South Carolina in 2017, and now I'm on The Bachelor. Ah! Proving I love attention! Hi, my name is Lauren, or Hannah, you can call me either, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a big family girl. Daddy, what do you think about Taylor? Uh, I mean, he could be sitting right here next year. Let me just say this. If he comes here asking for my blessing, I'm gonna bless him with something, my 12 gauge. You got that? Pass the potatoes. Okay, uh, well, uh, wish me luck. Um, my name is Samantha P, not initial, literally P, P, E, and I'm from Spokane, Washington, and I'm a nurse. In pageants, I'm the kind where you have to have a talent. Taylor's talent would be being sexy, and my talent would be looking at him being sexy, like, come on, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> my name is Jenna, I'm 24, and I'm a LARPer. LARPing something my father taught me and his father taught him. You know, when I think of LARPing, it reminds me a lot of Finding Love with the Bachelor. But, you know, it's tough to watch and it's not real, so. And the reason I'm a nurse is because I take care of people because no one took care of me. I'm what they call a trash baby. I was thrown in a dumpster the day after I was born and I had to find my own way. He's a personal trainer and he looks that good in a suit. <laughs> Growing up behind a donut shop has its ups and downs, but. Luckily I found my way and now I'm here as a strong woman who's ready to say yes to my forever. I don't live in a dumpster anymore. I just love Taylor. I think he has all the qualities I've ever wanted a man, even though I've literally never met him. And I wouldn't do this show if it wasn't for Taylor. Um, great, I have a, this is the fourth time I've applied. You know, as a nurse, a lot of what I do is install catheters and that kind of reminds me with my relationship with Taylor, I wanna I wanna get in the next one grannies too. I want to get in his heart hole. I know I went in the first impression rose too. I don't, what was her name again? I don't know, she was just by far the hottest. Ladies, ladies, I just want to say thanks for a great night one. You guys are all amazing women, even though I've only talked to half of you. I look forward to getting to tongue, love, know you over these next few weeks and proposing to one of you uh, within the month. Good night. Before I get any further, I think it's important I uh, get some advice from one of the all time Bachelor Nation greats. Hey Ben. Hey Taylor, how's it going man? Do you have any tips on how I could just be the best bachelor I can be? Just be yourself, be honest, open up a bit. Wow, well, I never thought of that. Well, I probably shouldn't like be truly myself, I'm kind of a dirtbag, but uh, uh. Well, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Oh, you have my word, I'm not leaving here without serious engagement on my Instagram, yeah. <laughs> and if nothing else, follow your heart. Yeah, follow me for sure. All right, love you Ben. Uh, all right. Later, man. Come on, you say love you to everyone, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Okay, what? Oh, you need to see me for a sec? I think I'm gonna be a great bachelor because I'm just at a perfect point in my life where I'm ready, man. I'm ready, and I'm, I've done a really great job in the past of juggling numerous roles at once. So, <laughs> Taylor, I've never told anyone this, but I just feel safe with you. When I was six, um, I killed a little girl in my kindergarten class. That's amazing. It feels just so good to get that off my chest. I trust you. It means so much you'd be so vulnerable to me and to Tim, the sound guy, and to the, well, the millions of people watching, the, uh, but, okay, come here. Uh, Taylor, Jenna isn't who you think she is. All the girls literally hate her, she sucks. A couple girls have come up and done for me that the girl I liked is not real when I'm not around. And I think the best way to squash this drama is for me to go to that girl and tell them that they've been talking behind her back. I think that'll help. Oh, you're finding out from the other girls I'm a horrible person? Well, as the villain of the season, the producers won't let me leave, so suck it, Taylor. I'm not here to make friends, okay? This isn't Phi Gamma Delta Flamma or whatever. I'm here for Taylor's heart, and that's it. This is, this is, is it going like I planned? <laughs> I'm not meeting any girls who could be a good co-host for my podcast. I am falling in love with you. I'm in love with you. 
Okay. I've run out of things to talk about, so... The... Next! No one's ever treated me as good as you have in these two weeks, which is really sad. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I love you, Taylor. And I always will. Always. Is it okay if she steals me? Okay. Oh, she... You just told me back. Steelers no steals backs. I think she... Dude. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> I just gotta say. This is tough, man. I need to... This is tough. I need to talk to Chris. Where's Chris? Hey, Chris. Hey, Taylor. Listen, cut to the chase. What are the percent chances I have of leaving here with a realistic relationship? Zero. Gosh, I knew it. I... You know what? Kick him to the curb. It's time to move on. By the way, Chris, the fantasy suites, do you know if, like, did you ever, like, peek in on anybody? Is he... <laughs> you know what? Nick Bial, six times. Oh, <laughs> you're crazy, man. Today is going to be a little fun. I think these girls get a little, uh, out of the comfort zone, and, and I just it's important to me that a girl is, you know, courageous. So that's why we're gonna have them get almost naked and wrestle. This is almost as hard as pageants. Pageants are hard. I'm just really nervous for hometowns because I don't have a home or a family or a town. A, a dumpster. So I don't. <laughs> Personally, these girls can f off. I'm here for Taylor, and I don't care. It's just been way harder than that. My, my tongue is so sore. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Today's the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> Lauren Hannah B, see? Will you marry me? <gasps> Taylor, Taylor! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> uh, you're still here? Yeah, I liked you a lot more when we were helicoptering in Bali. Yeah, I liked you more when we were bungee jumping over shark infested waters, you know. But now we're just getting chilies to go. You're disgusting. Let's just tough this out for a few more months, get a few more brand deals, and then I'm literally never gonna see you again. Sounds good. I got a sugar bear and it's a story to shoot anyways. Then I'll swipe up for a breakup. Ugh. The Bachelor. One man. 30 women. Lots of tongue. You hunker down, you hairy dog. <laughs> Love's a lot like personal training, right? Sometimes you have something that's not quite working and you gotta try to fit it, uh, get a girl in your life to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> There are other things to talk about, so the... <laughs> <laughs>